hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have t plus 3 divided by 3 is equals to th is equals to t and we solve this problem for all the values of t so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will very ver verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root of the given equation also i can solve this problem uh, for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so please watch this video at the end i hope so you very enjoy this video and now uh, we move towards the first method and in first method we move this three to the right hand side or in other words we just multiplying on both of the sides by 3 so when we multiplying both of the sides by 3 it will be written as 3 multiplied by t plus 3 divided by 3 is equals to 3 is multiplied by 3 okay uh, so now we need little bit simplifications here it will be written as this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get t plus 3 is equals to this is 3 times of t and now here further uh, we move our variable terms to the right hand side so this is the variable term t we move it into the right hand side and it will becomes here uh, 3 is equals to 3t minus t and now from here we easily get the value of t is equals to this is these are the two variables terms and we know that uh, when you subtract uh, two variables terms then you just subtract the coefficients of these terms so here we need to subtract 3 minus 1 it will be written as 2t so for the values of t we need to remove this 2 from right hand side so that we divide both of the sides by 2 uh, for elimination of this 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here the value of t is equals to 3 over 2 so this is the value of t uh, or this is the one root of the given equation and now here in the next steps we need to verify this value of t and here we will check that uh, is this value of t is satisfied our given question statement or not so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is t plus 3 divided by 3 is equals to t. So this is the our given question statement uh, and now here we need to put the value of t uh, uh, on both of the sides of this equation. Uh, so when you put it here it will becomes 3 over 2 plus 3 is divided by 3 is equals to 3 over 2 and, and now further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here. So uh, here we need to take the LCM in the numerator term so that uh, here you see the denominator of this term is 1. So uh, we have the fraction over fraction. So when you move this term to the upside it will be multiplied by the numerator as well as it is taking the reciprocal of this term. So when we move this into the uh, upside it will be written as 3 over 2 plus 3 is multiplied by 1 divided by 3 is equals to 3 over 2. So here we check that is both of the sides are equal or not. So for this we need to take the LCM of this term and its LCM becomes 2. This 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here 3 plus here you have this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 and it is multiplied by 1 over 3 is equals to 3 over 2. So here we get here 3 plus 6 becomes 9 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 is equals to 3 over 2. So you have this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and we get here 3 over 2 is equals to 3 over 2. So this is the our uh, this shows that both of the sides are equal. This means that the value of t is equals to 3 over 2 is satisfied our given question statement. So this is the final answer uh, which we get here in first method and now we move towards our second method and in second method uh, we need uh, to 
copy down given question statement here it is t plus 3 divided by 3 is equals to t this is the given question statement and now we again solve this problem for another technique i hope so you also like this technique so here uh, we first need to break this fraction so when we break this fraction it will be written as t over 3 plus 3 over 3 is equals to t and now you see here this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get here t over 3 plus 1 is equals to t so because we solve this problem for the values of t so that we move our variable term to the right hand side and it will be written as 1 is equals to t minus t over 3 so here we need to take the LCM of the right hand side to find the value of t so for this we need to make the denominator of both of these terms are same so for this we just multiply and divide this term by 3 and now we easily take the LCM of this term and its LCM becomes 3 so uh, this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get 3t this is cancelled out by this and we get t only and here we have 3t minus t becomes 2t divided by 3 and in the left hand side we have only 1 and now because we solve this problem for the values of t so we move this 3 in the left hand side and it will becomes 3 is equals to 2t for the values of t we move this 2 to the right hand side and we easily get the value of t is equals to 3 over 2 this is our final answer which we get into the second method and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos